What did they do? They beat LAFC in their house on that night. Last year, got in the playoffs, beat Portland in the opening round. Erickson, Mako, Espinosa to his right. Christian Espinosa scores! Second straight game with a goal. For a man who scored only twice all last year. And the Earthquakes striking first to the round of 16. Espinosa has been really lively on this right-hand side for San Jose. Great build-up starts through Erickson in the middle. And then this is poor from Zach McMath. He gets beat right down to his right. It's a good strike. It's hit low and hard, but it's right underneath Zach McMath. You'll see it here. Just dips right underneath his arms, not able to get his hands down quickly enough. In the second half against Chicago, has the opener of the first half here against RSL. And then a mistake there by Katia. Douglas Martinez allowed it. Martinez with the chip on Vega. It's immediate response from RSL. First goal for the first team for Douglas Martinez, their star in USL a year ago. Well, it's, it's almost straight off the kickoff. It's over the top. It's misplayed in the back by San Jose. Martinez gets in. We were talking about those. Erickson now trying to escape into the space. He's got Rios for company. Espinosa on the near side already has a goal. Waiting for Thompson instead. Back inside for Rios. Popping it up to himself. Rios holding off his man. It's a save from McMath. Thompson with the control. Back in for Erickson. Espinosa making the run. It's in for Tommy Thompson. Draws a contact penalty. Alvin Jones, first action tonight is to concede a penalty to San Jose. Thompson made the run, drew the contact, chance for the Quakes to retake the lead. It's sublime. It's Corey Baird, actually, who has a look over his shoulder. Tommy Thompson runs off him. Might be his final game for the Earthquakes, but if he can deliver them a win, it certainly won't be. McMath dancing around. Big moment here early in this second half. And it's a goal. McMath got a hand to it, but too much power from Erickson, and the Earthquakes retake the lead. Being beat positionally, concedes the penalty. It's just high enough here from Erickson as McMath goes to his left. He gets that right hand up, and it's just over his fingertips. Gets a slight touch on it. San Jose have won two-thirds, almost 70% now of the duels so far tonight, but it's in now for Jameer Krylock, who found space, and Krylock is saved from Vega. Got just enough on it to steer it wide of the post and out for a corner. Oh, well, his gosh, his goal is open. Intercepted. Vaco trying to beat him. Didn't look likely to do so. Blocked by Silva anyway. Vaco wins it back. Vaco rolled in. Andy Rio trying to keep himself on side. Cutting it back for Vaco. Disaster at the back for RSL. They're hoping something in the video can maybe take that goal away. We'll see if this is offside as the Quakes win this one back. Marcelo Silva seems to think it is. It looks to me like he's going to be onside, but this starts with a throwout. Into the space, Douglas Martinez running out. Alanis, the defender. Martinez by himself. Here comes the Cavalry. Into the middle chance for Krylock. Oh, Another save. big save by Vega. And Demir Krylock can't believe he hasn't scored. Greg Alanis wide. Now face him up, get him backpedaling, wait for the cavalry. Here comes Krylak. Great timing from deep. And he kind of hits that one into the ground. I talked about, John, was when Herrera on this right-hand side had been active. He'd been putting dangerous crosses into the box. Can Justin Miram with a little energy bring this game and bring this team back into it? Krylak from Silva got it away and score. There you go. 15 minutes left. One goal away out of really nothing. Demir Krylak's second goal. And it's 3-2. Big gaping hole. There it is. Krylak recognizes that. Fends off Schutzen. Alvin Jones. Long throw. Kashia straight up in the air. Aram knocks it down. Marcelo Silva. Herrera trying to steer it for Ruiz. Looking to get away from Erickson. Ruiz letting fly just over the bar. You had to react quickly. Ooh, that is a bad challenge there. Marcelo He's Silva, off. red card. He's done. Four perhaps still boiling over. Just missed it at the end of that shot. But Drew Fisher, no hesitation. Straight to the red card.
Oh, yeah. Studs exposed, straight leg. Salinas running it near him. Salinas able to find the space to cross for Wadalowski, and it somehow gets through. Come on. Doesn't matter. Makes himself and his presence known in and around the box. Roll back in for Salinas. Wadalowski in the middle. That's a handball. The kid Cowell wanted it. Oh, it looked like it might have hit the hand of Beckerman there. Yeah, I thought it did hit his hand on that first look, and it's trailing out there. Works in a no rush. We're gonna have a look. It looks like a penalty to me. Fisher only needed one look at it. Yeah, it's a penalty. Second of the night for San Jose. Erickson made the first. McMath got a good hand on Erickson's penalty early in this second half. Six for six, he said. McMath going to his left that time. Six for six with San Jose for Magnus Erickson. Seven went the same way. Good penalty. You can see why. He's perfect from the spot for the Quakes. Just really picks his spot, has a look. We'll see whatever seconds are left on the watch referee, Drew Fisher, but this is going to be, it's already a confident San Jose team. We got that from our conversations with him, but how much more so? Dropping five on RSL. Kyle oh, Beckerman card. sent off. 